Hello everybody, it's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Poppet Doll Nursery. How is everyone today? Well, we hope you're feeling well, have been able to spend some time with those that you love, accomplish a few things you set out to do, and I certainly hope you've had a chance to laugh and play and joke and be yourself. Well, today is Monday. Happy Monday. I pray that we all have a healthy, happy, safe week ahead, that we have time to do the things we need and want to do with the people that we love the most, enjoying this very pleasant time of year. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We did. I did exactly what I said I was going to do in my last video. We stayed home all weekend. We did some decorating outside and we did decorating inside. And before anybody says anything, I did most of the pointing and I rested quite a bit and I took it easy and we didn't do the baking and cooking like I was going to do. We had a lot of takeout and hubby made some things. So I did have a very restful weekend and it was so pleasant and so nice. I hope you had a wonderful weekend too. And again, if you'd like to let us know how your weekend went, drop it in the comments below. We'd love to hear. Well, on Monday, we like to do whatever I want Monday by our dear D over at the Baby Patch. And today I wanted to bring on our beautiful Scotland Nell. Scotland is um, the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And she was uh, brought to life or reborn by uh, Barb Wilson over at Barb's Baby Dolls. I just love this little girl. She's so sweet. And you know me, I just love these expressive hands. I wanted to bring her on and change her. Um, I'm going to change her. She looks really darling in this outfit too, but I wanted to put her in this koala baby. It's very fallish. It has the rust colored collar and sleeves. It's a bright orange. It has a little squirrel and bird on it. The bird is singing. The squirrel is darling. Then there's flowers of all types. There's some maroon, green. The bird is like a teal color with a rust wing. Oops, sorry. And uh, I'm looking at it myself, forgetting that I need to look in the camera and see what you're seeing. And then the feet are darling. The feet are little squirrels. Oops, let's see if we can make it a little bit better here. There we go. And the squirrel has a little flower on top. It's just so sweet and so fallish. I'm going to top it with this bow from uh, Walmart. It has an orange band. And there's some turkeys on it that are orange and brown. And they have the little black pilgrim hats on. So sweet. Then I'm just going to put on these little white socks to hold her feet into place. This is a zero to three months koala baby. But I think it'll fit her okay. I hope everyone's doing well. If I have time, I got a couple of things at a thrift store the other day. Um, actually, it was Sunday. Uh, we went to a thrift, thrift store. I was uh, able to go. I had had my antibiotics for several days, and I didn't have a fever, so I knew I wasn't contagious. So we went to the thrift store, and I just found a couple of things. Um, we didn't really stay long. It was just, uh, I love her hands, but it is hard to dress. All right, little pumpkin. Look at that beautiful hair that Barb did. I just love it. I have several of her babies now. This was the first one I bought from her. Fell in love with her, and I just think she does a beautiful job. So this is from Barb. Um, if I have time, I'll show you. It's just like three or four things. It's not very many things. One in particular I'm madly in love with. I'm not going to change her. She's been changed recently. But like I said, I am going to put on these little socks to hold her feet. And the sleeper. Is everyone feeling well? I hope everyone is feeling healthy and good and uh, having an enjoyable time. Yeah, our crazy house already is decorated inside and we started outside. We're not completely done. She disappeared for a minute. Sorry about that. She's coming back though. Hi, sweet girl. You're so precious down here again for those of you that are new uh, by the way thank you for joining us and I hope you'll stay and of course I love all my old subscribers too 
but this baby I named after my dad. I don't know. There's something about her expression that kind of reminds me of my dad. My dad was born in Paisley, Scotland. And I know a lot of you have heard this many times, but he was born in Paisley, Scotland. And because she looks a lot like him, every time I look at her, it reminds me of my dad who passed away years and years ago now. So uh, that's how she got her name. And Nell, of course, is just like a little Nell in the uh, wilderness. And they're not the wilderness, but in the uh, on the land. And uh, there are a lot of land uh, Nells in Scotland. So I just thought it fit really well. Oh, this is really cute on her. I think she looks good in these colors, don't you? Oh, darling, you look precious. He's all ready for Thanksgiving. Is her hand in the way? Oh, look how sweet. This is really cute. These little squirrels. Can you see them? Yeah. And let's put your bow on. Oh, there you look great. You look beautiful, sweet girl. Oh, how sweet is that? Oh, I like that outfit a lot. I'm also going to do new doll clothes because this outfit, none of the babies have ever worn. And the few things I'm going to show you from the thrift store are new to our nursery. So we will do new doll clothes, which is by our sweet Jay over at J Dolls UK. This outfit, it's a gown. And like I said, recently I've really gotten into these gowns is by Priscilla Sunshine. I had never heard of that before, but it's really, really cute. Um, I don't have a baby in mind. I'm thinking maybe Gershwin Berlin, who is my Oscar scalp, but there it is. It says three to six months, but it looks pretty small. It has a navy blue collar and navy blue trim cuffs. It is like a hunter green and then it has orange foxes all over it. I love the snaps too. They are they have like an orange circle. And then it's just a regular baby gown. It's the kind that's gathered at the bottom. I think Gershwin will look cute in it. I think Kimball, who is my Luan sculpt, would look cute in it. Maybe Jonesy, although he's kind of a chunk of Wonka. But Jonesy, which is my starling sculpt, might look very nice in that. So we'll get that washed up. None of these have been washed yet. This is probably, this one's really cute too. It's, it's not, it's Carter's nine months. So I was thinking for uh, Nessie, my peach, oh, peaches. <laughs> what am I talking about? I was thinking of Nessie, my pickle sculpt. It is a uh, very light pink. It has a little bit of a lace collar and some little white bows down the front and it snaps, and it has like little kitties, polar bears, I don't know, you guess. It's one of those really nice flannels, great for the winter. Nothing exciting, but adorable, and will definitely keep a baby warm, and I love the little feet, and I was thinking for Nessie. I loved this. Um, let me see. It is from... Hmm. It just says the toy company, but it, it isn't a doll's clothes. It's, it's a baby's outfit. It's so sweet. It's a quilted material. It's little overalls. They're lavender. Look at the lace around here. And I can see that they were supposed to be crossed so that the ruffles would go on the outside. But I just bought it like this. It goes, uh, you can cross it in the back. It has lace on the chest with cute little like flower buttons and then look here here's another squirrel and look at he has a little cotton ball I think it's supposed to be part of the flower it is footed and it has little balls on the um feet as well really really cute it's very I think it's vintage to be honest because this is the kind of outfits you saw babies wear before but it is quilted Oh, I forgot to tell you, the darker green, too. All of these have white backings on the inside, so I'm not afraid to put them on the babies um, so that they won't transfer the dye. These do not have where they came from, but I have several other pairs, but none in navy blue. I got these little booties. They're white 
uh, lamb's wool on the inside. Very, very cute. They're skid if they were real babies that could toddle around, keeps them from slipping. And they look real warm. I got those. This is my favorite that I bought, and it has no name in it, so I don't know the name of it. And I'm guessing this would be for Nessie as well because it's quite big. It is ribbed. It has the green collar there. It has green cuffs for the sleeves. And look at these darling pumpkins, orange pumpkins with green stems and leaves. That's got the butterfly ruffles on there. It is footed. And like I said, it's ribbed. There's no size. And let me double check. But there was no size. And there was no... Um, Oh, no, I take that back. There is a size. It says three to six months, but it does not have a name of who might have made it. But I just thought it was a darling, very fallish. And it's not for just for Halloween because it is pumpkins. And, of course, we have the Thanksgiving. And then I found this book, which I wish they had when my kids were little because my children love to be read to in bed. And sometimes they'd even like to take the books to bed with them. It's Twas the Night Before Christmas. And it is all cloth. It's handmade. Somebody stitched it. And it just has the most prettiest um, illustrations. Look at that. Oh, if I had had this. Um, there's a meaning to this book. It was my, one of my favorites as a child. My mom read it to me so many times that I memorized it when I was like three years old. And I did learn to read a little bit because I would say the words and then look down and she would even point out some words that I recognized. Aren't those illustrations awesome? And then the back just has the Christmas tree. I just love that. And like I said, I wished I had had it when my boys were little and even when my granddaughters were babies. But I just loved it. I got it for the nursery. I think it's beautiful. And like I said, it has a lot of meaning to me. Um, because I did learn to read and I memorized this story when I was just a little tiny one. And uh, it was because my mom read it to me all year round. I always wanted her to read it to me. So thank you for joining us today. I do appreciate it. We did want to pop in and show you whatever I want. Monday, new call, doll clothes by Jay over at Jay Dolls UK. And I hope that you have, again, a blessed week. We love each and every one of you, aunties, uncles, cousins, loved ones, and friends. You meet the world to us. Little Scotland here, myself, and all of the pretty puppets send you love and hugs. Again, thank you for all mm, the well wishes. You're just, you're just the best community in the world, and I love each and every one of you, and you've all become members of my family. If you're at work, please come home safe to those who love you. And if you're at home, I know you're busy. But take some part of your day to put your feet up, to pamper yourself, and don't forget to eat chocolate. God bless you. And we will see you real soon.